Also, the gut is called the second brain because it contains almost the same amount of neurons as we have in our spinal cord. And the second because uh, the gut can work uh, autonomously. So many of the functions, whether it's absorption, secretion, or movement of the gut contents, is uh, executed by the neurons located within the gut. So there is a bidirection communication between the gut and the brain. So some of the nerves, like the vagus nerves, uh, they have branches within the gut. So the, the molecules which are being detected by the nerve can transfer the signal to the brain. The other possibility is through immune system. And the third is uh, the production of neuroactive molecules. So we know that gut bacteria can produce uh, typical neurotransmitters, also other molecules which have direct effect on the neural system. We were one of the, the first ones to show that the changes in gut microbiota composition can affect behavior. And there were several experiments which we performed. Uh, uh, the first one, and I think the most striking, was uh, when we treated uh, mice with a mixture of non-absorbable antimicrobials. We changed the composition of gut bacteria, and this was uh, associated with significant change in behavior of mice. And in a way, there is a parallel in, in humans, and it was described on multiple occasions. When patients are treated with antibiotics, sometimes they have sudden change in their mental capacity so it's called antibiotic induced psychosis and again you stop the treatment with the antibiotics and the patient's behavior normalizes. There is a definitely a possibility that uh, just by changing uh, the microbiota composition or just changing uh, metabolic activity of bacteria we have in the gut we could also affect uh, behavior uh, in humans in healthy or in patients. Probably within five, ten years, we will be able to, uh, to have these kind of treatments available to wide public. So maybe in, in ten years you will be able to go to the supermarket and buy a, a happy probiotic, a, a bacterium which will make you feel well. If we are able to understand really the, the mechanisms uh, by which bacteria affect uh, mental health or, or behavior of, uh, of the host, then we can also design specific probiotics, prebiotics or, or complex foods, which would be able actually to have through the microbiota some significant effect uh, uh, on our mental health.